Jim, Barnes & Noble announced the sales of their Nook. Very disappointing. Yeah. Revenue down for Barnes & Noble. So it does potentially seem like Amazon's Kindle killed the Nook. Because <laughs> now Amazon does not release their numbers on, right. on Kindle. Right. But and, and a lot of people have been throwing money at Kindle. Big companies, you know. And, at Barnes and Noble. I bought a Kindle. I have to say, I bought. Well, I got a Kindle for the right. holidays. I, mean, I love it. They, you know, they love won it. this big war against the bookstore, <laughs> by the book publishers, and, and you know, so they've, they've got a tremendous pricing. The Nook is vastly uh, considered vastly superior as a product, uh, even though I like my Kindle. And, and uh, you like your Kindle. And Nook is what Pearson. I mean, a lot of companies are being Microsoft, but I think here's the issue. There are certain things, devices, where the best one doesn't necessarily win. And I think people really like Nook as a product. But in the end, Barnes & Noble's got a lot of things, a lot of moving parts, and it's uh, Nook is housed within a company that is still a book company. Um, Amazon is a juggernaut. Uh, Amazon is somebody you never want to go against, and it does. maybe it doesn't matter how much money Nook has. I mean, they poured the resources into this thing. And this was the quarter that had to happen and it didn't happen and I think it's going to be game set match Kindle I think so I, I when I was getting my Kindle set up and moving my books over on the holiday it I had to call them because it wasn't moving over they said we are bombarded by people doing that so we don't have numbers but we do have yeah. That little bit of uh, anecdote. I think people keep speculating that Barnes and Noble's going to get taken over, that Nook's going to take off. This was the season it had to, and, and it Nook didn't. failed. And it didn't. All right, so stay away from Barnes and Noble. Yep. Yeah.